the remote village of Ravenscroft, where time seemed to stand still and the wind whispered eerie melodies through twisted branches, there loomed a mansion untouched by the passages of decades. The Greyhaven Estate, as it was ominously named, cast its long shadow over the superstitions of the tight-knit community. Generations had woven a tapestry of chilling tales around the mansion's stone fatal de Section 8. They spoke of a cursed lineage, the Greyhivans, who were said to have made a sinister pact with forces beyond the veil. Legends claim the family had unlocked forbidden secrets within the mansion's hidden chambers, seeking power that defied the natural order. As the village slept under a canopy of perpetual mist, a group of unsuspecting thrill-seekers arrived, drawn by the allure of the unknown. Armed with cameras and skeptical laughter, they crossed the threshold into the cold embrace of the Greyhaven estate. The heavy wooden door groaned shut behind them, sealing their fate within its spectral confines. The air inside was thick with an unspoken relevance, and the flickering candlelight barely penetrated the darkness that clung to the grand halls. The group pressed on, their footsteps echoing ominously, disturbing the silence that hung like a shroud. Paintings adorned the walls, depicting figures whose eyes seemed to follow the intruders with a malignant gaze. As they delved deeper into the heart of the mansion, an unsettling chill settled in their bones. Whispers, almost imperceptible, brushed against their ears like phantom breaths. Doors swung open of their own accord, revealing rooms frozen in time a relics of a bygone era adorned with dusty antiques and faded portraits. The Greyhaven estate seemed to come alive, as if the very essence of its dark past seeped into the present. Ghostly apparitions manifested, replaying scenes of bygone tragedies. The anguished cries of a tormented soul echoed through the corridors, and ethereal figures danced in a spectral ballroom, their movements both graceful and macabre. Suddenly, the group found themselves entangled in a surreal nightmare. The architecture shifted, corridors twisted, and the mansion became a labyrinth of endless passages. Desperation set in as they realized the mansion was toying with their sanity, a malevolent entity playing a game with their very souls. Phantom hands grazed their shoulders, and disembodied voices whispered ancient incantations. Shadows morphed into grotesque forms, casting ominous silhouettes on the walls. Each step forward became a plunge into the abyss of the unknown, where time itself seemed to unravel. As the night wore on, the Greyhaven estate revealed its most terrifying secret a, a portal to a realm where the laws of reality ceased to exist. The group, now gripped by a primal fear, stood on the precipice of the cosmic abyss, their senses overwhelmed by eldritch forces. The mansion, a sentient entity that fed on fear, played its final card. The very architecture rebelled, trapping the intruders in a phantasmagoric spectacle of their deepest fears. The boundary between nightmare and reality blurred, leaving them in a perpetual state of horror. With the first light of dawn, the Greyhaven estate released its grip on the shaken group. They stumbled out into the pale sunlight, their minds forever scarred by the spectral odyssey within. The village, oblivious to the cosmic horrors that unfolded, resumed its quiet existence. The Greyhaven estate, having fed on the fear of another night, stood in silent contemplation. Legends would be born anew, and the tapestry of chilling tales would be rewoven with the threads of the latest victims. The mansion, a malevolent relic of an age gone by, awaited the next group of unsuspecting souls to cross its threshold and succumb to the eternal dance of terror within the haunted confines of Greyhaven.